Hey everyone, I'm the Canadian Lad, and it's that time of the month again where we talk about Spider-Man No Way Home and the Spider-Verse. So I'm gonna break down all the recent news and perhaps make it a bit clear that all three Spider-Man are definitely coming back together. So without any further ado, let's begin. First things first, as the title says, Spider-Man No Way Home is the worst kept secret in Hollywood. I mean, it was coming, considering the protagonist of this movie is Tom Holland. But this time, even this poor lad didn't spoil anything. So why is it the worst kept secret in Hollywood? It's because Sony Motion Pictures president Sanford Panich said this. There actually is a plan. I think now maybe it's getting a little more clear for people where we are headed, and I think when No Way Home comes out, even more will be revealed. He said this when asked about whether Tom Holland's Peter Parker will appear in other Sony properties such as Venom or Craven the Hunter. Notice he specifically said when No Way Home comes out, even more will be revealed, and that's coming from the higher top. So what this means is Spider-Man No Way Home will officially kickstart the multiverse and let Tom Holland's Peter Parker travel from the Marvel Universe to Sony Universe. Because remember Kevin Feige said and I quote, Spider-Man is a powerful icon and a hero, whose story crosses all ages and audiences around the globe. He also happens to be the only hero with the superpower to cross cinematic universes. So as Sony continues to develop their own Spideyverse, you never know what surprises the future might hold. So basically what's gonna happen here is there are gonna be two cinematic universes, but Spider-Man will remain the same. Now you may ask if Tom Holland's Peter Parker shows up in Venom Let There Be Carnage, wouldn't that make an impact on the MCU? Um, technically it wouldn't, because we're dealing with the multiverse here. And that's how both cinematic universes are gonna preserve their storyline, despite having one character running back and forth. So now that we know the multiverse plotline is definitely happening, let's dive in and try to find out whether Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are returning as well or not. Now, in the interview where Panich revealed that there is a plan for the multiverse, the same article mentions this. One of the worst kept secrets in Hollywood is that No Way Home will be diving headfirst into the multiverse and incorporating characters from Sony's earlier Spider-Man movies that starred Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Alfred Molina, for example, told Variety in April that he will be digitally de-aged in No Way Home to look like he did as the villain Doc Ock at the end of 2004 Spider-Man 2. Now, this is the closest we'll get to a confirmation that Tobey and Andrew are definitely coming back. But remember, just because it's obvious they're in it, by no means guarantees them being in the teaser. I do think they're gonna be eventually featured in the marketing, but most likely in the second trailer. Sony needs a hook in each trailer, and I think the villains will be the hook in the first, and then all three Spider-Man in the second. Just imagine when the trailer drops, hinting at all three Spider-Man coming back together, it's gonna break the internet. Now, Daniel RPK has recently reported he can 100% confirm that the lizard from The Amazing Spider-Man 1 is definitely coming back in No Way Home to complete the Sinister Six. So now we have Alfred Molina as Dr. Octopus, Jamie Foxx as Electro, and now the Lizard from The Amazing Spider-Man 1 are all confirmed to appear in No Way Home. We also know Willem Dafoe is most likely coming back as Norman Osborn, aka Green Goblin, because of the recent deal between Sony and Disney. Under the new deal, all future Spider-Man films starting from 2022 will go to Disney+. Plus. Well, there's a little bit of technicality here. For instance, a Sony film releases in theaters. After 9 months of its release, it goes to Netflix, and stays there for 18 months. And and after that period is over, the film now goes to Disney Plus and will remain there. So given the fact that Tom Holland's Spider-Man is here to stay in the MCU, it only keeps the door wide open for the arrival of Norman Osborn. Variety also asked Sanford Panitch about the Sinister Six appearing in No Way Home. And after a long pause, Panitch smiles and says it would be very cool, wouldn't it? So in no way did the president of Sony Motion Pictures deny the rumors of the Sinister Six coming together. And that's why I'm going to present to you a potential plot leak from the upcoming Spider-Man 3. Now, I'll use a general spoiler warning here. So if you're susceptible to plot leaks like this, then please click away right now. But if you have decided to stick around, please take this plot leak with a grain of salt, as we can deem nothing is confirmed unless it's from Sony or Marvel itself. So it begins with Peter on the run after the identity reveal in Far From Home. Ned and MJ are with him since they're accomplices to his crimes. Doctor Strange, at Happy's request, finds them in a homeless shelter undercover where he brings them back to the Sanctum and tells them to lay low while he figures out a way to fix everything. In the Sanctum, Peter comes across a sort of a bigger on the inside prison, where Green Goblin, Doc Ock, and Sandman all from the Raimi-verse and the Lizard and Electro from the Amazing Spider-Man-verse are being held. Defoe manages to trick Peter into thinking that their universe's Spider-Man were corrupt and kill them. And Peter needs to feed them so they can save their planets. So Peter feeds them and they escape into the city. Strange shows up and tears Peter a new one. Explains he had been holding them in this prison due to instability in the multiverse connected to each dimension's Oscorp experimenting with interdimensional travel. And says Peter has a responsibility to stop them. Defoe leads the villains to the MCU Oscorp building to steal prototype interdimensional technology. Peter tries to stop them, but he gets his ass kicked and thrown aside. Strange rescues him and says they'll need more help. Strange and Peter 
Peter travel into the Raimi-verse and the Amazing Spider-verse, and we see how the Peters are living after the conclusion of their series. Toby is married to MJ and they have a daughter, and Andrew is a college professor. Through their connection to their home universes, the villains sense that their Spider-Men are likely on their way. They use the Oscorp device to open a one-way portal into the Amazing Spider-verse, with the Amazing Spider-Man Rhino verging through. So the Sinister Six are Goblin, Auk, Sandman, the Lizard, Electro, and the Rhino. Defoe's Osborn realizes the way to open two-way portals, and thus get back to their own universes is to power the Osborn device with the Stark Power Core. Defoe gets it, while the other S6 distract the Spider-Man. The Sinister Six minus Osborn and the Spider-Man fight at the Statue of Liberty, which Defoe Osborn plans on using to open portals back to their worlds and trap the Spider-Man there. Toby is beaten way harder than the younger Spideys and ends up dying after the battle. Goblin finally shows up with the device and Ned. The device is activated, but they manage to stop him and protect Ned in a 2v1 fight, but he manages to miss them with a pumpkin bomb and kills Ned instead. Tom Spider-Man nearly kills Goblin, but Andrew stops him from becoming a villain like them. The Sinister Six get locked back up in Strange's prison. Tom and Andrew attend Toby's funeral in the Raimiverse and seemingly part ways. Tom turns himself in and is successfully defended from murder charges by Matt Murdock, but his secret identity of Daredevil isn't revealed. Tom shows up to Ned's grave and talks about how he feels responsible for his death. When Andrew shows back up and gives him the responsibility talk, Tom realizes Ned, just like Uncle Ben, Tony, and Toby's Peter, would want him to still be a hero. Final swing is both Tom and Andrew in the streets of MCU New York. Now, I have plenty of doubts regarding this plot leak. It does look like it has a little bit of truth to it, but some of it could just be fan fiction. I mean, I obviously believe Doctor Strange will be in it, and Peter will certainly mess something up in the Sanctum in order to break the multiverse. The reason I know this part is true is because of the set photo released by Tom Holland himself. Notice the patterns on the floor are very similar to what we've seen in the Sanctum in Doctor Strange 1. Now, another report from the superhero theorist apparently says there may be a joke about the organic and synthetic web shooter. We know both Tom and Andrew's Spider-Man use synthetic web shooters, which they manufactured themselves, whereas Toby's Peter has organic web fluid. So according to this report, there might be a joke about this in the film. All the rumors and reports point towards the Spider-Verse definitely happening in No Way Home. What I personally find even more exciting is the fact that Willem Dafoe might be coming back as Norman Osborn. That's gonna be massive. Almost on the same level as Toby coming back for the fourth time. And that's it. This would be my breakdown of all the recent Spider-Man news and speculations. And just to be safe, I'm not claiming any of these reports to be 100% accurate. Take all of this with a grain of salt. But having said that, I wouldn't have made this video if this wasn't coming from a viable source. So if you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up, grab the subscribe button, and turn notifications on. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to get updates about my videos. Till then, I'll see you lads in the next one. I know, I know, it's killing me.